Corn Pop was a bad dude. You may cut me, man, but I'm gonna wrap this chain around your head. He said, you apologize to me? He said, okay, close the straight razor and my heart began to beat again. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. We all know that Joe Biden is a liar. This week, we heard him lie on national television many, many, many times back to back. But did you know that Joe Biden may have at one point told a true story about how he wanted to kill a young black man? That's right. The man's name was Corn Pop. Why did Joe Biden want to fight Corn Pop? Well, because Corn Pop, a young, underprivileged black man in Wilmington, Delaware, where Joe Biden was the only white lifeguard, had too much pomade in his hair. Of course, you've all seen the clip, but as a refresher. Joe Biden was the only white lifeguard in Wilmington. Corn Pop was a bad dude, and he ran a bunch of bad boys. And I did, yeah, he, and back in those days, you show how things have changed. One of the things you had to use, if you used pomade in your hair, you had to wear a bathing cap. And so he was up on the board, wouldn't listen to me. I said, hey, Esther, you, off the board, or I'll come up and drag you off. Well, he came off. And he said, I'll meet you outside. My car, this was mostly, these were all public housing behind it. My car, there was a gate out here. I parked my car outside the gate. And I, he said, I'll be waiting for you. He was waiting for three guys in straight racers. Not a joke. So, okay, a couple things here. Uh, one, public housing. This was a very poor area. This was clearly an underprivileged young man. Corn pop, we are strongly on the side of corn pop here. Joe Biden, an evil, vicious, racist individual wanting to stop corn pop from using too much pomade in his hair and calling him Esther Williams. Now, what does that mean? What is Esther Williams? Who's an Esther Williams? We actually looked this up. Uh, Esther Williams is a Hollywood actress. Uh, she was white, uh, but she had hair uh, sort of like, you know, like this. And she would go swimming in sort of like glittery little outfits like this. And so this is the person that Joe Biden was comparing Corn Pop to. Now, I mean, I don't know what neighborhood you grew up in, but if you take a uh, young black gang leader and say that liken him to this bedazzled white lady who, who like sp splish splashes around, I'm assuming that's going to end poorly, but it's probably not what gang lords want to be compared to. Just a thought. Uh, Joe Biden walking on the wild side. What happened next? There's a guy named Bill Wright, Mouse, the only white guy, and he did all the pools. He was the mechanic. He cut off a six-foot length of chain. He folded up. He said, you walk out with that chain. And you walk to the car and say, you may cut me, man, but I'm going to wrap this chain around your head. I said, you kidding me? He said, no, if you don't, don't come back. And he was right. So I walked out with the chain. And I walked up to my car. And they had, they, in those days, you used to remember the straight race, you'd bang them on the curb, get them rusty, put them in a rain barrel, get them rusty. Okay, so this is Joe Biden talking to what is still a majority minority community there. You, as you can see there at the pool, with these goofy photos of Joe Biden as a lifeguard at this pool. Uh, you can see Joe Biden telling all those little kids about how he was going to get a rusty rain barrel razor blade plus a chain to go fight corn pop. Joe Biden was going to try and murder this young, underprivileged minority child um, because Joe Biden made a joke calling him a bedazzled, famous woman swimmer and saying that he had too much pomade in his hair. Now, uh, that entire story seemed just absolutely insane to us until we heard one of Joe Biden's best friends growing up, a man named Mouse, who's still alive literally tell the same story, backing up every word of what Joe Biden says. So it turns out, ladies and gentlemen, it was all true. Played, played the um, dozens. So Joe heard us play the dozens. We used to talk about our moms, and you know how it was, Herman, and how, how this and that. So when Joe to told Corn Pop to stop, don't bounce on the board, Joe used to, not only Esther, but he used some French language, okay? <laughs> you know what I mean? Some French language. Because Joe was good at using 
French language, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so, uh... This is like, pardon my French, right? When somebody set, drops an F-bomb. An F-bomb, right? So it's Joe Biden saying, get off the effing board, effing Esther Williams. Two corn pop. Corn pop. I think we on when the pool came out. So they start instigating Joe. They said, Joe, you're going to get your A whip. He's going to cut you. He's going to get boys on you. You better not walk home tonight. Don't come back to the pool again. Okay? Joe went to the manager who was controlling the pool, and he tried to ask the manager. And, and the manager told Joe, said, well, you better get some help, get the police or something. At the time, we wasn't scared of the police because we would break up the gangs. We just had a meeting on the hill and uh, about the black movement. Everybody was going to the movie of Malcolm, Martin, Gandhi. Okay, so this is, again, Mouse backing up the story of Corn Pop along with a new community leader. Uh doing her best impression of a woke activist trying to placate the diseased old bitter Joe Biden who's clearly like committing a borderline hate crime here and but you see they'll do anything for power it really has nothing to do with the value system it has everything to do with the power system acts as an inspiration to us he was basically saying stay woke before millennials were saying stay woke there was like a leader named popcorn right well in the book he says popcorn. popcorn. Oh, we found oh mouse mouse corrected it. Corn pop. It's corn Man. pop. Oh, it's so So corn pop uh -huh. was diving off of that thing. He kept bouncing really hard and diving in. Oh, really? And our vice president said, You can't do that. And then he said, Oh, you look like Esther Williams. So corn pop <laughs> was gonna pop this corn. <laughs> Okay, isn't that funny? So it's funny when Joe Biden does it, you see, because he's on our side. It's funny when we do it. You can misgender someone or call a gang leader a bedazzled Hollywood starlet and piss them off and then try and kill them with a rusty razor blade and everyone will just laugh along with it. Look at these look at these hysterical photos of Joe Biden at this event. I, this, these photos will never, ever, ever get old. Look at Joe Biden. He's king, king of the black people. <laughs> look at this photo. <laughs> Wilmington names pool after Joe Biden, former lifeguard. Oh man. Oh, uh, and it, it's by the way, have you ever been in this pool? It is like in the worst, absolute worst part of town. Uh they talk about mouse being there. <laughs> oh man. This is just too this is too good. I mean, it's the best, the best photo ever. This is the the this photo perfectly encapsulates Joe Biden and literally everything that he stands for. What an old cretinous, villainous individual. You can almost hear him in this photo. You can almost hear Joe Biden in this photo. Uh uh if you don't it, it, if you vote for Donald Trump, you ain't black. That's what Joe Biden is saying right there. Uh boom. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Were you surprised that the corn pop story is actually is actually quite true that a character witness came forward to say, yes, corn pop did exist. And yes, Joe Biden committed a hate crime against him. Joe Biden, man, what a story that does not hold up well. But we 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 know this. Joe Biden's the same guy who says that you can't go into a 7-Eleven unless you have a slight Indian accent. That's exactly. I mean, these, these are quotes from Joe Biden. So uh, very, very uh, sad old man uh, with a very sordid past. He has locked and linked arms with KKK members in the Senate. Obviously, he wrote the crack laws that decimated young black communities, uh, but not his son. No, 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 no. Hunter Biden can smoke as much crack as he wants and uh, gets away with it. Are you sick of Joe Biden's kids getting away with it? Let me know in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the whole corn pop saga. Uh, we are quite interested and we'll follow this TikTok. This story gets more and more interesting, ladies and gentlemen. America is the greatest country in the world. America's worth saving. America's worth fighting for. So keep memeing, keep criticizing, keep fighting. We're fighting right alongside with you. My name is Benny Johnson. See ya. Thank you for watching. Our channel's here to meme the libs until they cry and then to meme them crying. Their tears, they taste just like sweet, delicious ice cream. Salty, too. We ridicule the establishment and the libs because of you. Your support keeps us going. So if you like what you saw, please punch the subscribe button, click like, and ring the little bell so that you know when we're live. Don't you want to know when we're live? And 
Make sure that you subscribe to our email list just in case the plug gets pulled, as tends to happen. If you want to see more of our videos, click here or here. My name is Benny Johnson. Stay free. Base Patriots.